Hi YouTube, Ushidomaru here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to showcase you another spot that you could be grinding for more Koopa Shards. These over here on top. Um, I've already tested this spot a little bit and I'm actually going to divide this video in two sections. The reason why I want to do it, I want to make two different tests. Each test is going to be 15 minutes each. I've already completed the first test and let me actually walk you uh through over here what are the numbers that i have here uh from the first test so i've run 15 minutes basically and fi within 15 minutes you can do three missions of this um and i got 33,000, actually not 30 33,444 if i look at my inventory because i started roughly at zero i've got one yellow module seven purple modules and 17 blue modules which i salvaged combined all those numbers right um and uh, uh, then i got a total of 46k 400 super shards for 15 minutes if you multiply this by four this is around 185k cuper shards now this is my very first test i didn't optimize my runs i didn't try hard in terms of speed and stuff like that and the other disclaimer here is that i didn't use any uh additional cuper modifiers in this test i'm going to equip this bad boy over here i do have only one right now that is with an additional cuper shard uh, modifier um, it should increase a little bit super shards and any other modifiers that you have for example equipment drop rate or module drop rate modifiers if you have anything my suggestion is drop it in there you don't need that much damage to kill everything over here and before we get started i want to give you also a couple of tips how you could proceed to get better and more cuper shards First of all, it's, you know, a, a, a grinding spot that will fill up your, you know, inventory super quick. So everything that you have in terms of uh, slots, weapons and etc. Just, just salvage everything, free up everything that you need. Technically, I could remove these from my inventory as well, but I'm not going to do it because I'm just going to showcase 15 minutes. This is not going to fill up my entire, you know, inventory for 15 minutes, but I'm pretty much empty uh over here and yeah i'm just going to go now for this particular mission i highly recommend bunny bunny in general is one of the best descenders to grind any type of materials and to grind it super easy and you know brain dead you just run around my personal grinder for when i'm playing on console on on my on my gamepad my absolute favorite super chill grinder is bunny because she has ton of damage and you just kill <clears throat> everything with the conduit that is around you let's get straight to the spot the spot is located in white knight gulch right now and it is specifically in moongrave basin right and this is the mission that we're looking for this is the mission we're looking for and i actually have one tip for you additional tip that i can give you for some particular spots when you're grinding materials and stuff like that or you need to exploit certain missions uh the proper way because i'll show you the method on how you need to run this mission so that you need to uh, you know get the most out of it i highly recommend you over here on top you can change it from a public to a private server meaning right now if i go over there no one is going to mess around with my mission i can do this entire grind by myself i don't need any help anyone else i'm happy with it right so the 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 way this mission works let me just straight go and i'll show you how this mission works where you can start it and what do you need to pay attention to and i'm going to record basically the second test over here i'm going to show you only the first you know mission so i can keep this video short and then i will make a conclusion for the um remaining 15 minutes so remaining 10 minutes basically the other two runs and i will make a recap in the end of the video so stay to the end to the video you activate the mission you go to the first spot over here to trigger the second stage of the mission and this mission basically splits in two sections one over there you know point b and point a you're interested in point a and particularly you want to just start the mission the capturing that's a capturing mission over here ideally you need to stay in here but you will not you'll just basically um 
start you know running over here on the edge and start killing the mobs right the idea over here is to kill mobs and stick to the left side basically uh, towards the wall over here there are mobs over there already stopping the um the claiming point so that means that um you know the mission will not you know finish up and all you have to do is now kill the mobs and run in the line right now since i am on a bunny with actually a little bit of a expanded range of my conduit make sure that you really stick to the left side so you don't kill the mobs over there otherwise the mission will end another thing about this mission you need to keep in mind that you want to actually fail this mission you don't want to complete it um so just run it around here and kill the mobs do this back and forth and that's the entire thing you have around four minutes per mission um and yeah that's the idea why i told you in the beginning to you know avoid doing this in public with other players because most of the players just probably just found out to build this spot and they will try to be running this spot and you know grinding here and most of them don't know that the best way to do it is to actually avoid killing those on the right side um and you'll just lose you know precious time of yours um and yeah i just highly recommend you do this run back and forth nothing too difficult nothing too crazy just all you have to do over here to get the most out of this spot right we have a couple more minutes i'm going to show you you know this is it basically there is nothing else to be talking about here uh, i'm going to show you this and i'm going to recap uh, the second test that i'm going to do because what i'm going to do after this i'm going to actually re-watch my recording and actually count how many modules did i get from the previous one as you uh, as you as you've seen in the beginning of the video um <clears throat> there were plenty of blue modules purple modules and one yellow one interested to see how many are i'm going to get with this second test over here and i want to see yeah if there is an average is are those some kind of average numbers yes or no um and also i'm actually curious to see how the cooper modifier will perform and will be there any big difference between the total amount of cooper in the end right ideally you want to stack up as much as possible modifiers for loot and everything so that in the end you can um you know go home with as much as possible materials right don't even stick and, and wait to kill mobs just run back and forth they will follow you you'll kill them with your aoe that's why bunny is just best in slot for grinds like this in general she's one of my favorite uh, descender right now actually <clears throat> if you're still watching this video until this point let me know what is your favorite descender um i am currently testing around different descenders uh, today i unlock blair so i will be testing blair make sure to hop on my stream i will be streaming on uh, on youtube and sometimes on twitch uh, and we can have a live discussion about different spots and descenders and stuff like that right now i'm really enjoying this game it is such a blast it's so much fun there are so many things to explore uh different zones where you can grind what is the most efficient places to grind and and you know in in, in general just stuff like this um i'm having a blast a blast I, I i love this game and that was it that was the first test over here let me just grab everything that is on the ground so that i'm sure that uh we have all the modules there you go a purple one we got these components so only good stuff right so so far we have roughly what 12k 13k more on top of what i've already had i will rough i'll do the exact calculations after this and i will just um you know do another two runs right now i might keep that in the video i will just speed up this second portion i'll remove my ugly face and you can just watch the gameplay for the another for the other two um, tries that I'm gonna do.
there you go so this concluded the tests as you can see i am already full on reactors my inventory is already full uh let's see all right we got a bunch of sensors and usually what i'm doing is i'm looking for double hp um sensors over here if i got any i might keep if not i don't care if not we are salvaging everything over here and i will be back to you with the end results and calculations another consumable drop modifier by the way and let's see how many weapons we've got we've got a bunch of weapons in terms of weapons i don't care anything here so we can delete this as well a bunch of materials all right and i'm ready with the calculations from the second test so in total i got 38,744 raw cooper with the cooper modifier that i had on this component zero yellow um modules 12 purple 16 blue ones for this test uh which ended up of a total of 40 uh, 54.3 k for 15 hours times four this is 217 cupers per hour so by the way you can see that there is a significant difference between no modifier and modifier so you know conclusion of the day is first of all this is a very good spot to grind uh for the time being before they do nothing and don't nerf it or something like this and the second conclusion is use your modifiers properly um so that you can make the most out of it and yeah if you enjoyed this video if it find it helpful i would really appreciate your like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out